so you guys forget. You'll be able to hear me and see what I write up there, hopefully. So, all right. Figs and beans. Somebody tell me what the... Uh, so the first thing we have to figure out is RPM, right? Mm -hmm. So what's the short formula to your book? Thank you, sorry, on that page. SFM, uh, SFPM times four times the total diameter. You mean divided by? Yeah, divided by. Right here. So you said it was S. Can you speak for a minute, SFM? Mm -hmm. Oops. surface So if we want to do the face mill, what's the face what's uh face mill got inches of carbon, correct? No, five. So what about what's this uh surface speed per minute? Eight hundred. Aluminum, right? Yeah. Eight hundred. Yeah, because you have six. Yep. So you got eight hundred. Everything so I don't forget. Technically, on that, you don't have to. Okay. But it won't break. I'll just put one zero, anyways. So then we want to do our inches per minute. So, what's the formula for that? The surface feet per minute? We want to take the RPM and we want to find our feet. Oh, so it's RPM times shift load times number of flutes. Yeah, shift load is going to be a GD. So RPM, shift load is on the next page. Something else. RPM times chip times, I can't remember, number of flutes. Flutes. I did a number up here like that. Equals, um, that's a good number. Actually, we'll just see. Degrade. 37.31. So you do the math. Let's see, our feed rate was 800. Oops. Uh, it's RPM time to load. So it would be oh. 1066, yeah. right? Okay. Right. 1066 times 2 plus, you said 7, right? 7,000. Can you figure out where to get that? It's like the last page. Okay. I knew it. I know the words, I can just tell you. figure it out? Let's see, you're running through it. <laughs> uh, 
So flip the page. And then you've got your bangers right here and we're over an inch. So we're moving the seven. So if it's a half to one, then it's six and so on. So that's where you got the seven passage to one. So you've got your RPM from the four minute four chip load. Now how many flutes is on the uh, shelf? Remember? So then you just do the math again. I did it the other way. I made it do all the RPMs and then we went back into the other one. I thought it might work better. So if we do RPMs for the 750 mid mill, it's surface feet per minute times four. So if you look at your little chart, what it is? Your surface feet per minute high speed seal aluminum 600. Make sense? So you've got 600. Times 4 divided by diameter of your cutter, which is 750. We can double check, but it's <clears throat> not used to hear me say that, are you? <laughs> Chip load if I mess up here inside. Okay. Times number of flutes. I think John and I said that was a three flute because that's what you usually use with uh, that. Well, the quarter was a two and the, the other one was a three. You may have three and fours in the crib, but um, usually it wouldn't be good towards three. Um, all right. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. I did it with two, so the, I remember using a two flute. Three quarter last time. We might have. I have. I thought one of the end bills was a two flutes. <laughs> <laughs> we have half inch two flutes. So then you just do the math. Thirty two hundred times six thousand times three. And you should come up with your e rate or your inches per minute. Yeah, that was different. We do it a little different because we, if it's a 750 spot drill, you may or may not use the whole spot drill. So we try to go by diameter of the hole. So
Right, right, first. Oh, the RPM score? Yeah. Uh -huh. What's the first thing I write for my RPM? You know it's high speed steel. So it's 600. The bottom is where it gets a little funny. Is it we're doing it by the diameter of the tool? Or the diameter of the tool? Yeah, we want it by the diameter of the chamfer we want. So if you have a half inch threaded hole, you're going to want 30, 40 thousandths lead in, right? So do it by 540. Okay, so if we're doing a 250 ream on the hole, do we want to do? If you 90? want, you don't always have lead in for a ream hole. Right. Because we've got three different holes going on here. That's cool. Because remember, it looks like a, it's a vice jaw with a green hole in the middle. Yeah. So it's like. She said I have 30, 40 yes. thousandths to it. So if I was doing one of these, I'd probably have 30 because it'll give me a nice little chamfer on the outside and it won't be sharp. The center, the center one, you wouldn't technically have to add really anything, but I think I told them to at least break the edge. So it's a 250, I'd like 260. So let's make this 0 0.260. <coughs> and that equals uh, 400 divided by almost a quarter. That really cool. Nine thousand two hundred thirty. Yeah. So like I told John. Should we just do it for the bigger hole and just have a copy of the smaller holes? It'd be a bit slower. You could, or you can just at some point common sense comes into uh, and you might just go. I know I did like fifteen hundred for my counter sinks. Fifteen hundred, two thousand. For a one that small, I'd probably. You could get away with just using the big one and keeping it the same, honestly. Okay. It just, this is correct for the tool, which is what I want you to do. It doesn't mean that we can't, you know, bend the rules. Yeah. Now, when we get into the carbine and you guys get to uh, 119, with those things, you can't bend the rules. It is this, because they're. Unbelievable. They're insane. They just really turn off. Yeah. It's like, uh, I was using sumo drills in fight. Those are beautiful. So, then you take that RPM and you start off. Yeah, Or we could, let's figure out RPM for the uh, bigger one. So it's like 750, and that's how big our tool is. So we're just going to do 750. So we can do the big hole? 600. Huh? The big hole's only 530. The bore. Oh, the bore. Okay. 600 times 4. 750. You're going to get like three times more than what you have. So not you're going to get like 3,000. 3,200. 3,200. Close, wouldn't I? Yeah, I'm one of those guys that can do it in my head. Him and I knew about that, didn't you? Like that. Is it clearing mud? Or is it clearer than the Missouri River? Clearer than the Missouri River. We're going by the. So then we got to figure out our feed rate, right? 3200. Would it just be the same as the ML? No, it wouldn't because that took number three. One, two, three. Yeah. Times so chip load. What is, that's the biggest thing. Your chip load changes on there because you've got to kind of see the chip load right here. 200. That's the biggest difference. Gotcha. Or no. That's this is perfect. That's why we're too high because we shouldn't use that. And I use the uh, oh, teacher messed up. We're gonna start over. Yeah.
and I didn't pay attention to that. Wonder why that won't seem right. Alright, sorry. So, we said it was supposed to be 200, right? Yep. That might make more sense. It does. So I'm imagining that too, I think. Yeah, that's actually. So if you do, if you look at your book, counter it says 200 for your speed. Your circuit speed. See where it says that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is what we should have used instead of the 600, so that will be one third of what we had before. So 200 times your, what do we say, 260? Yep. 200 times 4 divided by 0 0.260. What'd you get, Cameron? 3,076. 3,076. That's what it should have been. See what happens when you open the numbers in right? So then we take that 3,716.9 times our chip load, which is what, guys? Times the number of flutes, which on a spot drill is two or three. Two, three, 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 three. For us, anyway. So then do that. And you'll get your correct speed rate. What is the equation for finding out drill size and ringer size? No, um, actually, it's in flip the page. If you have an allowance, no, the other one. On the very bottom, you need an allowance for your ringer. The only thing is, So the thing is, though, it says thousands difference to a ten thousands. You don't know if this is per side or or. I would assume this may be per side because I'm going off the tool line number. We gave us a quarter inch reamer, and we that's true. It should be eight hundred. Yeah. This is the way this is written. It's not very. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it could be per side, and it could also be off the diameter. I mean, eight thousandths in a good CNC will clean up eight thousandths in a cheesy CNC, and you're going to have drill marks still, probably. One of it's one of those, you kind of go to whatever drill bit. I would start here right. and start going smaller than the drill bit so I found it. You know, we don't have the whole yeah, A so. through Z, 1 through, what is it, 60? And then the, I do in my box. Right. Do you know what drill size we have that would work with that reverse from math? That's why I did this, so that you guys had to figure it out and come tell me. Can I go look at the toy until I find the right drill? I, I'll, go, I'll be out there with you when that happens. Oh, you mean... I just want to get the math done, so I can go ahead and... The math, it. I would obviously just do the... You can do the 250, the 10,000 to 20,000, you know, that much. You know what I mean? Yep. So what's this come out to? So we put it in calculator? 39.9 or 36.9. So what you got? Yeah, 36.8148. So base mill we did, end mill we did, spot drill we did, um, drill bit reamer. We'll do one drill. We'll do one reamer. No, we we'll tap because your guys' part has to tap on it. When you put a nine. Huh? Eight. What? Eight one. Eight. I got. I just, I, I just took my straight answer. 36.9. You can, this or, this is better, but you can get away with this. Do not do just that on the tap. Oh, no, I, I, you do just I was typing my cap down and I switched that on the tap. And I switched to 7 and 6. Oh, I see. <laughs> so, let's do a drill bit. Which one do you guys want to do? Cameron's over here picking the ball out. Let's do the big one because I don't need to start on So, what's your uh, surface speed for 300? Go a bit. See where I got that? It doesn't look like magic, right? Mm -hmm. 300. And then times 4 divided by diameter, and we're going to say the diameter is 30. 
I say it's a 3612 times 2, 2400 ish. For that. Go oh, for half inch? Or, yeah, I did 530. Uh, that was Walmart. <laughs> Twenty-two sixty-four. Twenty-two sixty-four. So there's your idea for your drill bit, and then drill bit is easy, right? Two twenty-six four. What's my zip line? Five thou. Five thou. You agree? Would you say chip load? Chip load for a two fifty drill bit. Or 530, I mean. Yeah. So then I would drill it. Most of it's not too So I can't say every. You just say that and you totally. We have something here with one. They're basically boring markers. So what's that work out to? If I write the answer, I'm going to have my answer in the video. 22.64. Good. So then the Raymer. The problem with the Raymer is just Jeff, uh, John and I were guessing how many tubes they had. Because they had a lot. I think this is so, what's my surface speed for my ring? Ring? It's just the same as drone. Oh, no, 150. Okay, I thought it was slower. Yeah, twice the speed, half the speed. Yeah. 150 times. Twice the speed, half the speed. Because this is what we said, twice the speed, half the speed. Okay. No, I think it's the other way. It's half the speed. Twice the speed, half the speed. Because you go faster. No, no, it is feed. It's yeah. slower because it's 150, not 300. Yeah, you feed it faster. RPMs yeah. are slower. Yeah. Well, I knew what you meant. Yeah. You just said it so fast you didn't realize it. Yeah. It's a little longer today. So, uh, 150 times 4. And then our ringer is 250. So that'd be 300, that'd be 600 times 4, 12, 2400. Is that right? Ish? Yeah. It's yeah. probably right on the money, actually, wasn't it? Yep. <laughs> I told somebody one time, they're like, you always use a calculator, but we know you don't need it. And I said, that's because I can't remember numbers. And I'm, so I can go back to my calculator and I can look. <laughs> it's not for the math, it's for the fact I can't remember the numbers. So when it comes to the chip rate, is it, because if we're right on quarter range, is it better to go on the low side of the chip rate or the high side of the chip rate? I'd probably go. Because it's like 2,000 versus 5,000 for the quarter. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I can do this way. You can do it there, I guess. Or you can do part way and then all you can do. That says 2, that says 5, so you can do 3 or 4. I think that's what I'm going to do. We kind of split the difference. Okay. Want to do 3? Sure. So, 2,400. I was going to say, isn't it generally better to aim higher? The higher your chip load, the higher your feed rate will be. We kind of split the difference because it says right, yeah. one two, says two, two five, one yeah. says five, so you could have three, four. That's what we were, it kind of depends on the radar. We said six. I think we'll so. probably mess that right there. Times six equals. 
So I'm laughing my feet right on my reamer. When you run out, it whistles. Because it comes in and out so fast. What did you call it, too? What did you get? Hmm? you say 23.2? 23. 23. 43.2. All right, let's do a couple taps real quick. So what's the formula for, okay, I'll give you our games in your book for five, for us. So your tap RPM for the purpose of this class is going to be 100. That's what I usually tap on the manual issue too. You can't go faster, but that also makes your math really easy. So now somebody tell me what the formula is for 1 divided by the 2 pi time function. One divided by CPI times RPM. Yeah. Equals P. So quarter twenty tap. What's my TPI? One. Right? Twenty? Follow? This is what quarter 20 TPI was, he said 20. So you got 1 divided by 20 times 100, correct? Mm -hmm. right. So what's that get you? 4 divided by 20 times 100. Right. Well, Got all the money? Yep. Thanks. That's not fun. Taps, I usually go out three places. Just because I don't like breaking. So let's do... Let's do a three quarters... Three quarters eleven or three quarters ten? Quarters ten and three quarters eleven. Doesn't really matter for the purpose of what we're doing, right? I was trying to find an actual tap size in my head. I think it's three quarters eleven. <laughs> Cameron's like, you just making it up. <laughs> I mean, we can make it up, right? We can, yeah. For the purpose of what we're doing, it doesn't matter, does it? Uh. Uh, we can do 5, 16, 18. I wish I did something bigger. Uh, 7, 8, 14. Inch is 8. 7, 8, 14. That's a uh, weird. I don't know if I've ever seen it. 7, 8, 14. Yeah, that gives you a fun number. 14. Alright. So we've got 1 divided by threads per inch, which is what? Red branch is the only answer camera. Okay. We said this is what we're going to use right here. Mm -hmm. 7 eighths, 14. So what's my thread branch? Oh, uh, your thread branch, 14. Yeah. So 1 divided by 14 times 100 for our feet rate equals what? Are some of these feet rates going to be larger in the program with fixing? Why are you just waiting? When I wrote those, I just guessed. 
Okay. I pulled the number from the fever in 25 to 57.6. But I pulled, I pulled the number out of my head that I knew would work. Okay. Would not crash, you know what I mean? Okay. I just want to make sure the city is... Don't move the fever. Right? <laughs> that was me sitting at the computer going, ah, this will blow up. Right? Does that. They will run. 